video M7. It's going to help when you're doing patterns and when you have problems where you just have to work through them one step at a time. So let's start with the pattern. You can see we're missing the first number and what would be the last number here. So the thing I try to tell the kids is right away I'm looking is the number going up or down. So from 17 to 23 we're going up which means it's either going to be plus or times. So looking really fast, is there something I can take 17 times to get 23? No. So it's going to be plus. So then I just need to figure out how much we went up. And it was 6 there. I want to double check on the next number just to make sure that 23 to 29 also goes up 6. I'm subtracting here, not adding. And it does. So every step... I'm going is plus 6. So 35 plus 6 is going to get me to 41. Now, the one back here is a little bit trickier because I took this number that we don't know, plus 6, to get to 17. Which also really means if I go this way, I'm subtracting 6. So 17 minus 6 is 11. There we go, and our rule was plus 6. Let's try another one. This time our number is going down. And if we're going down, I know we're either subtracting or dividing, because that's the only way we can make numbers smaller. Is there any, something I can divide 53 by to get 47? Nah. So we, I know I'm subtracting. So then I need to figure out how much I'm subtracting. So 53 minus 47. I got a 6, so this is a minus 6. Double check that 47 minus 41 is also 6. It is, so every step is minus 6. So over here at the end, we're going to have 35 minus 6. Do a little borrowing. And we get 29. And over here, something minus 6 equals 53, which really means I need to add... 6 on to 53, because it needs to be bigger than it, and that looks like it's 59. So we got a 59, 53, 47, 41, 35, 29, and our rule was minus 6. Let's check this one out. Our number's getting bigger, so we're either adding or multiplying. Can I take 10 times something to get to 20? Oh, I can, times 2. So let's double check it just to make sure. If you took 20 times 2, does that give you 40? Yep, and 40 times 2 is 80. So my rule is times 2. And then I need to figure out 80 times 2. 0, 160. And over here, something times 2 equals 10. I think most people can figure out that that's a 5. And if you can't, then you really got it from 10 divided by 2. So those are patterns. Like I said, if you're going up, it's either going to be adding or multiplying. If it's numbers getting smaller, it's dividing or subtracting. Let's move up to the other kind of problem here. Oh, actually, let's just do one of these. If I give you the rule and it said the rule was minus 9, just start with a number and work your way down the line. Since I'm subtracting, I'm probably going to start with a big number like 100, just so I know I've got numbers that I don't get below zero before I get to the end. So 100 minus 9 gets me 91. 91 minus 9, I'm at 82. 82 minus 9, I'm at 73. So there's a nice minus 9 pattern. Moving ahead, these are what I call the one step at a time problems. So I'm giving you a bunch of clues to a place value problem here. And I need to go through and figure out what my numbers are. So the first thing I'm looking for is a number I can start with. So the ones place is one less than ten thousands. I don't know ten thousands, so that doesn't help me. Tens is twice as much as thousands. I don't know thousands yet, so that doesn't help me. The hundreds is half of the thousands. Still don't know the thousands. Thousands place is four. Ooh. Now that's one that told me exactly what I needed. Now, since I found thousands, I want to be looking at the end down here for the word thousands. Notice that one's ten thousands, so I don't want it. That one does have thousands, so we can do it. The tens is twice as much as the thousands. Tens place, twice as much. Twice means two times, so two times four equals eight. 
I see another thousands we can do. Hundreds is half of the thousand, so what's half of four is two. And then now I'm looking, I've got ten thousands at the end, and I still don't have ten thousands. But I can probably do this one. Ten thousands is the thousands, that would be a four, plus the hundreds, which is a two. So four plus two equals six. That's my ten thousands. And then at the very end, one's place is one less than six, so that would be a five. So there is my mystery number. Let's try another one like that. One's place is half the thousands. Don't know the thousands yet. Tens is one more than ten thousands. Don't know it. Thousands is the largest even digit. I can do that. Largest even digit. So I've got zero through nine. Nine is not even, but eight is. So the thousands place is an eight. Now I'm looking for ones that have the word thousands at the end. Well, that's ten thousands and ten thousands. Here we go. Thousands. So thousands is an eight. Ones is half of eight. That would make it a four. Since we just solved for ones, I would be looking for one that has ones at the end. And ones are four. Ten thousands is one more than four. So one more means one plus. One plus four is five. That's going in the ten thousands. I'm looking for one with ten thousands at the end. Actually, both of them do, so it doesn't make any difference. Tens place is one more than five, which would make it a six in the tens place. And then ten thousand is still five, so three less in the hundreds than five. Three less, five minus three is two. Try out this problem. This is just you take it one step at a time and do whatever it says. So Joe had 75 cherries. The bird stole 17. If they stole, am I adding or subtracting? I'm subtracting. Do a little borrowing. He is now down to 58. So we had that one. We did this. He picked 68 off Dave's tree. If you're picking some, you're getting some more, right? So 58 plus 68. He's now up to 126 cherries. He gave 14 to Steve. Sounds like a subtraction. He ate 19 for lunch, which means I'm going to subtract again. Got to borrow. Ooh, borrow again. And then how many cherries does he have left? 93 cherries. Let's try another one sort of like that. Fred had 120 cards. He gave half to his brother. Half of 120. If you're not sure, that's really 120 divided by 2. We could do 50. 50 times 2 is 100. Then we got 20 left. Oh, that'll go 10 times. 50 plus 10 is 60. So he gave half to his brother. That would be 60. It also means he's going to have half left, right? So he's got 60 of them left. Sold 6 to his friend did. If you sold them, you got rid of them. We're now at 54. Bought a pack of 24 from the store. That would mean I need to add them on because he bought them. And then he dropped three running from a dog. 78 minus 3 is 75. How many does he have left? 75. All right. Again, one step at a time. you got to figure out which one to do first. So we have Jack... Kelly, Larry, and Mary, it looks like. So Jack is half as old as Mary. Actually, let's get all these names down. We'll just get an initial for them. We got Jack. We got Mary. We got Kelly. We got Larry. Looks like it. Okay, so I'm looking through. Jack is half as old as Mary. I don't know how old Mary is yet, so that doesn't help me. Kelly is 13. Bam, that's nice. So now we're looking for one that has Kelly at the end. Right there she is. Kelly is really 13. Mary is 27 years older than Kelly, so that would be 13 plus 27, which gets us 40 for Mary. Now we're looking for one that has Mary at the end. There it is. Jack is half as old as Mary, so half of 40. Half of 40 is 20. That would be Jack. 
And then the last one, Larry is 14 years older than Jack. We're going to take the 20 and add 14 on. And now we got 34 for Larry. And the question asks, how old is Larry? Boom, there's our answer, 34. Let's try one more like that. Again, let's try out the names we got. So we got a Mary there. We got Larry. We got Kelly. And we got Jack. Oh, I kept the same names. So let's see. Mary's nine years older than Larry. I don't know how old Larry is yet, so it doesn't help. Larry's twice as old as Kelly. I don't know Kelly's age yet, so that doesn't help. Jack is eight. There we go. Now I'm looking for one that has Jack at the end. So there's Jack, who is now eight. Kelly is five years older than eight. That would be 13. Find one with Kelly at the end, because she's 13. Larry's twice as old, so that would be 13 times 2. Gets us 26. And then one with Larry at the end. Mary is 9 years younger than Larry. Younger, so we're going to need to subtract. And we get 17. How old is Mary? 17.